Hey, what up, everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, if you watched my live stream literally, like, recently, like a couple minutes ago, I was live with Charlie Gold, Life is a free, Life of a Free Spirit, Kit Kat Reacts, and Roses Ranting. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun, so I suggest checking that out. Um, I'm going to react to this because I need to know what the update on this whole cancer GoFundMe thing is. We found out a lot of things that were really, really disheartening and honestly disgusting, in my opinion. We have Becky's sister coming on here wishing can praying that people would get cancer that were um not believing them um it was just all around disgusting and i don't think they deserve they i don't think they deserve any of your money real talk so let's see what they what the queen bee has to say for herself let's see what amberlynn has to see for herself shall we hey guys so if you recognize this dress from my snapchat yesterday it's because i literally rolled out of bed today and put it right back on how is that any different than every other day and why would you put it right back on you have tons and tons of clothes that you can pick from why would you pick something that is covered in fucking dust and cat hair i am just i am so emotionally and mentally exhausted and this is kind of just like a little update video that i personally don't want to film i don't want i just wish none of this was happening as you guys know there is well you should have told becky's sister to shut the fuck up then and how about you guys just don't go around scamming people for money online because you need gas money even though you're making like 20k a month like it's ridiculous it's just a lot of false rumors going on right now that i I can't even wrap my head around what is going on. It is crazy right now, and I feel... For it's not a rumor that you're... The people that we're making money for are homophobic and transphobic. That is actual factual shit. And um, it, maybe if you guys were so fucking shady, uh, there wouldn't be all these rumors going around. Maybe you guys were just decent people. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Horrible for all of us involved mainly Becky's mother. She has surgery tomorrow and no one needs to be that stressed for that. And then don't e-beg. And this is just, it's been so freaking hard for everybody. And it's just- Then why, if, if it's so hard, then why is Becky's sister going on camera or going on Twitter telling people that she hopes they get cancer? It's so hard, it's so hard. It's been freaking insane. I just don't even have words for it. And it breaks my heart that like people want to believe things that fit the entertainment that they want. No, you're just bummed that no one's buying into the bullshit anymore. And no one's believing things. Pe these are literal words that come out of these individuals' mouths or what they like to put on the internet. Everything is supported by screenshots. Everything is supported by facts. You know, people, I've noticed that people only want to believe the things that are more entertaining, the, the things that... Trust me when I when I say this as a fellow LGBT member, and you should think the same way too, I would hope that there's not people around here that are saying derogatory things about gay people and, and trans people. But those are the people that you are living, that you are with. Those are the people that are related to your family, to your partner. That's just what it is. That are drama filled or like the tea. And that's just not reality. It's not reality at all. Most of the things that you hear online is not true. A big like what? part of this Name is the whole scamming situation. Nothing about what me and Becky said in the video we uploaded was a scam. Everything that was relayed to me to say in that video was what I was told to say in that video. So the people who told you what to say are scams. They're scammers. Just because you didn't come up with a lie doesn't mean that it's not a lie, you idiot. You know, it's just like there are people who are literally saying Becky's mom doesn't even have cancer. That's insane. That is crazy. That is not something that you lie about, joke about. I'm appalled. I'm well, you lied appalled. about suicide. Because her mom's literally going to be under the knife tomorrow. And all the stress that's on her. I've, I'm terrified because her first surgery, she stopped breathing in it. And it's just like, 
we need. Oh, pre- so now she almost died during. It's this is so this is so blatant manipulation. I can't. Prayers, and we need positive thoughts and affirmations and just whatever you believe. Then go to your local church. Then, if that's what it is, then why are you online soliciting money from strangers? Been as much positivity as possible because not for me. A lot not of people are worried right now, and it's just you're not getting the damn thing. From everything me. else adding on top of this it's just been a hard ride right now so i posted on instagram snapchat and on youtube that becky's mom was going to film a video she was actually going to film that video today so that's why you're seeing a video super late because i didn't have a video to upload today because i thought so it's becky's mom's fault that their upload schedule got messed up okay girl becky's mom was going to be uploading a video of her on my channel Showing just like proof that she does have cancer. Just talking to you guys. About That's what she was going to do is prove that she has cancer. That's not what people are talking about. People are talking about the fact that three women are begging for money when they haven't had a job in years. And you sitting on here making money from mukbangs and you're making like $15,000 a, a month bragging about your Louis Vuitton purse that you want to get and stuff. And you're on here begging for gas money after you just drove three hours to Cheesecake Factory the other day. Like, this is crazy, yo. This is, this is complete, this is the deflection. This is a deflection. About all of the speculations that are going on right now, but she got really sick today. So there will be no video. Her mom feels like if she films the video, it's only going to make problems worse. Right. Because I have gotten contacted several times saying, don't let Becky's mom make a video because it will make problems worse. So I Yeah, because if you get on camera and lie some more, people are going to see right through it. I think we're just taking that advice because we don't want things to escalate and just get way worse than it needs to be. You don't want things to escalate, but the sister was literally on twitter talking about how she prays we all get cancer and talking about how she's sucking off the amberlin teat like but you don't want things to escalate girl get your family get your sister-in-law to be and i kind of don't want to even be talking about this on my channel anymore it has been yeah because you got called just out. vile and i feel like nobody what's vile is what you guys are doing for real talk deserves it like normally i don't give a f like girl you care you guys what are you talking about you don't care you just did a whole video talking about how you're gonna leave youtube because you were being brutalized in the comments and how you felt like you didn't want to live anymore what do you mean you don't care you care a lot that's why you're on instagram doing q a's every other day want to call me fat if you guys want to tell me to die it's like yes it is so beyond hurtful but I like accept that more than the crap. This is completely different than what she was literally just saying in that other video talking about leaving YouTube. Now she's not affected. Now it doesn't bother her. That's been going on the last few days because this is more serious. This is someone has cancer. So serious that you rolled out of bed at 5 p.m. and threw on the shirt you were wearing the day before on the ground. That serious, I guess. You know, someone needs help and people are calling and it's not the job of random people online to help her either by the way no one is obligated to help her especially someone that likes to spew a lot of bullshit and a lot of homophobia and transphobia on the fucking line all the time and us all liars it's just it's not okay and you guys do lie. You, you, you couldn't even make up your mind about how far away the doctor is. It's two and a half hours or it's 45 minutes. Uh, it's ridiculous. She doesn't have insurance. She does have insurance. Which is it? I just want to apologize to anyone who has felt offended during this and to the people who have donated don't care. and they feel like they shouldn't have. Do not believe rumors. That is all. Wow. This is what it all comes down to is they don't want the money to get charged back. They need, they want that money. This is what it all comes down to, huh? You're willing to promote this lie and keep it going for some money. That's crazy. Y'all are fucked. Honestly, the only thing I can tell you guys and the best thing I can say, and I just think moving forward, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Right, because you guys are dead ass else wrong. To say about it. And there's no That's the only explanation we're going to get. That's it. Of all the things people have come up with, that's the explanation we get. I just don't want to talk about it anymore. How convenient.
thing I can say to make you guys believe me or the anything. Truth. Oh, and by the way, about my video being deleted, the only reason why it's deleted is because I have had a lot of people point out to me that there are some things I said in that video that actually is against YouTube it is. policy and like guidelines or whatever. So I ended up contacting Not or whatever, YouTube it's just and fact. telling them about the situation. And they told me, delete the video. And so I deleted it, which I'm totally fine with. She didn't delete the video, she privated it. So I just want to say thank you to those who actually pointed that out to me because I had no idea. Um, she's more sincere about that than any of the other shit that she's been talking about for the past five minutes. Um, I have been on YouTube for a very long time, but there are certain things about YouTube that, you know, I don't know every single rule or every single guideline, and I know a lot of other YouTubers don't either. I even went as far as to telling YouTube about channels constantly uploading my content, about channels who react to every single one of my videos, like the whole video, and those are actually not allowed. You're not allowed to do that. That's weird because all my videos are monetized. That's real. That's weird. It's weird that it's not allowed to react, but there's literal channels that are just about reacting to videos online. I can't, dude. I it, that's the narrative we're gonna go with now is that channels like mine shouldn't exist because they're not allowed. Then why do my why do my videos get monetized if it's not allowed? And the person I was talking to who works at YouTube was actually pretty shocked that people do that, and they were like, "Wow, that's definitely not allowed." So it's like Cause, YouTube because Amberlynn has an in with the higher ups at YouTube, you know, it's weird. So it's OK for a girl to come on here and systematically kill herself on camera. But God forbid someone point out the fallacies that she con consistently spews on her channel. That's not allowed, though. Got it. YouTube is There's so many channels, so many videos going up on a daily. It's hard for them to keep track and stuff like that you're so and popular. i know that Look at her i am getting allowed off on to it. She's, send out she's copyright probably, she's probably things wet right but now. i've never done that and i don't think i ever will i just wish youtube was a little bit more more stricter in you know what they do but this is crazy oh. dude literally <laughs> so much has come out about this family and she's gonna sit here she's gonna spend the bulk of her time talking about youtube policy and guidelines and how she thinks that react channel shouldn't exist like, this is the time you want to take to, to talk about that? This is the video you want to choose to d address all that in? So, to the people, if you have downloaded that video, the one where we talked about Becky's mom, and you put it on your channel, you can actually get in trouble for that as well. So, if I were I you, I would delete so, it just whatever. like I deleted mine. You know, I don't really care for reaction channels. I think it's horrible that people upload my whole video onto their channel, but I don't want to see you guys get in trouble because... So... We're not supposed to exist, and YouTube, we're, we do things that are against community guidelines, but you're going to sit on here and give us advice about how to keep our channel. Is anyone understanding what the fuck is happening right now? Because I am so fucking confused. If you get your YouTube channel permanently deleted, it also has a lot to do with AdSense, and you won't even be able to ever make money off of YouTube again. And I don't want to see that happen to anyone, but that is- What? So she's here looking out for us, but she just talked to someone that said that our channels are going to get deleted. I, what? She's just talking out of her ass, dude. It's up to you and strictly up to you. You guys can do whatever you want. Right. I'm not here to judge anyone or to tell you what to do. I, that's just my own advice and what YouTube told me. So from this day forward, I will no longer be talking about this. We all can just wish Becky's mother a happy ending because this has been very hard on. for her and her family and for me. It is just sad that she has that to go through all this on top of nose. everything else she's going through. But we will keep you updated on, you know, her, her recovery nose? and things like that. But I don't... She did this whole entire video with a booger in her nose. It looks like a booger. It doesn't even look like her nose ring. Because her nose ring ends and then there's like a thing sticking out right there. I think we're going to keep going into like super, super detail because for some reason it's being used against us. And a lot of people don't even believe it anyway, which is just really sad. And I do want to say thank you so, so, so much to the people who have been messaging me lately. I'm trying my hardest not to read any DMs or anything like that because yeah, it's just right. been so vile and gross. You've been react. I, you, we've seen you commenting back in DMs and people have been posting the screenshots. Like people have been horrible, but for the ones I have read, oh my gosh, you guys are super sweet. And just thank you for not believing rumors and seeing past all those things. Like we greatly yeah. appreciate- Thank you for seeing past the homophobia and the transphobia. Thank you. Appreciate that. And just like what an so ally. many prayers and so many positive thoughts. Keep it up. 
and I'm gonna continue doing the same thing I'm trying to send out as much positive you know thoughts and affirmations as possible and yeah so I just want to say thank you so so much for that but I'm gonna end this video and this is my video for today I don't even have a video for tomorrow but I'll figure it out I might have to film one as soon as I wake up tomorrow um I guess we'll see but I'll see you guys in my next one bye so wow <laughs> okay she seemed really distraught, like really upset about the fact that there were lies going around about Becky's mom. I mean, dude, that was such bullshit. I can't. That whole thing was dumb. She spent more time talking about YouTube policy and her video getting and her privating her video. She didn't even delete it, really. Then she did. She didn't even explain any of the things that people were talking about. She didn't explain uh, the ex-wife at all. She didn't explain the disgusting tweets that were made nothing she explained literally nothing if you donated to that gofundme then and you feel like you were you were gypped out of some money please go and contact the gofundme support team and request to get your money back because this is all bullshit honest to god this is all bullshit and i can't believe that she stooped this low that's all i got to say about this until next time toodles